Warm greetings to you all. It's, it's nice, nice having you on board once, once again. again. Welcome, Welcome to the class, class on Aquaculture Production Management Fish 302. My, My name is, is Saba Abdulwakim Alawale from, from the School of Agriculture. Agriculture. Lagos State, State University, University. Okay. okay. I want, I want to, assure to assure you that, that you enjoy this class, class. And, and I would request, request that, that you give it all it takes in terms, in terms of, of concentration, concentration and, attention. and attention. I also, I also want, want to tell you that, that at the, at the end, end of this, this class, class you will require to take a test. test. Also, also an assignment, an assignment will be issued out. out. I would appreciate if all these are, are done as at when you do. Feel free to, do, to leave the class at your convenience. I'll return whenever you deem it fit. Sit back and enjoy the lesson on aquaculture production money. Okay, at the end of this lesson, we will be able to differentiate between aquaculture and fish farming. We will list some benefits of aquaculture. We will be able to name and explain the types of fish aquaculture systems. And finally, explain the aquaculture management practices. Aquaculture. What is aquaculture? Aquaculture is the farming of freshwater and saltwater organisms such as fin fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and aquatic plants. Production. Production is the action of manufacturing, growing, rearing, and extracting new things in large quantities. While management has to do with control of the production process for optimum output. In summary, the topic we are looking at today, which is aquaculture production management, entails the control of the farming of freshwater organisms to bring about an optimum output. picture there shows you a typical aquaculture production system here catfish also known as clarias garipinus is being read in a concrete holding system benefits of aquaculture what are the benefits of aquaculture aquaculture has a number of benefits in production of protein rich nutritive easily digestible human food it also helps in introducing new species and strengthening of stocks of existing fish ornamental fish which is the desire of most is also provided for to enhance the aesthetic appeal. Aquaculture also helps in recycling of organic waste of human and livestock origin. This will be discussed in greater detail. The land and aquatic resource will be well utilized in practicing aquaculture. Resources will be maximally allocated and utilized they will be increasing standard of living by maximizing profitability production surplus will be available for exports in order to earn foreign exchange finally to be a means of sustenance and earning of livelihood to get monetary profits through commercial 
industrial aquaculture. What are the types of aquaculture systems that are available? Number one, static fresh water pond culture, running water culture, culture in recirculatory systems, culture in rice fields, aquaculture in raceways, fin fish comb, livestock rearing. The first one, static fresh water pond culture. This is a situation whereby fish or other aquatic organisms have been cultured in what stagnant water that is controlled. Running water culture has to do with the culture of aquatic organisms in running water. Culture in recirculatory systems involve the culture in a system whereby the water that is being used is reusable after purification. Culture in rice fields is done in a situation whereby fish is cultured together with rice production. Aquaculture is also carried out in raceways, tanks, wooden, concrete, and the likes. Finfish comb livestock is also red in togetherness. Picture two. Picture two here shows a typical fish culture in a fresh static ponds fresh water static ponds you can see the fishermen during harvest trying to drag the produced fish so fish production in fresh water ponds shows here a typical example in this picture Figure 1 here tells us about the production in a recirculatory aquaculture system. This is a model recirculatory aquaculture system. The, from the production tank there, the wastewater moves into a mechanical filtration section where the solid particles are removed before it is being sent to the biological filtration section where the microorganisms are being excused after which the purified water both physically and biologically gets back into the production tank of course the waste product would have been collected into another chamber while we also have a makeup water chamber to top up the water whenever there are shortfalls this illustrates culture of fish together with rice production you can see the rice beds as well as the spaces in between each bed for fish rearing this is also a very good system that helps to maximize the use of land recall we discussed this while we're talking about the importance of aquaculture this is an aquaculture carried out in cages organisms can be read in the natural water body using cages the cages will be enclosed such that the organisms or fish will not have any escape route in there they will get fed on a daily basis or as it's required so this is a, also a very good method the advantage of this method is that there will be no need to change or to renew the culture water the fish will depend on the natural water this is also a picture showing 
the culture of fish come poultry production here the poultry pen is situated above the fish pond and the droppings from the poultry are expected to get into the pond and fertilize the pond in order to produce food for the fish this is also a system of integrated farming that helps to maximize resources aquaculture management practices there are a number of management practices that are employed in aquaculture firstly talk about the olden structure management fish population management water quality management and feed management talking about the olden structure management it's important to manage adequately the structure in which the organisms are to be read in terms of its size in relation with the number of organisms that are to be um, situated in it if the number of organisms are too much this may lead to overcrowding so the current capacity of the system must be considered in determining the number of individual organisms to be placed in the structure fish population is also in need of management the population of fish should be adequately managed such that at any point in time when during the process of growth there 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 is there's a need to reduce or increase their number to suit the available space at that particular point in time this is also a very important management practice in fish production next we'll talk about water quality management it's important to manage the quality of water being used to rear the organism without water the fish is as good as dead therefore any little compromise on the quality of water will lead to a great problem in the culture system as a result it's germane to ensure that the water quality is maintained at its optimum throughout the production process also we have the feed management it's important to also manage the feed being given to the fish of course we know that feed feeding and feed given to the organism especially fish production in nigeria takes up to about 70 percent of the cost of production a need therefore arises a need therefore arises to ensure that the feed to be fed to the fish is adequately managed two points are important in this regard the fish must not be overfed neither should they be underfed if they are overfed the remnant feed that are unconsumed will lead to pollution of the immediate environment of the fish which is the water while when they are underfed this will lead to slow or lack of growth of the fish and eventually the production will not be optimized and the output we have labored for will not be what will not be actualized at the end of the day so all these management practices are essential to ensure success in aquaculture production figure 6 here shows the water quality requirements for tropical fish you can see the parameter and the acceptable range for dissolved gases we have oxygen which must not be less than five parts per million 
nitrogen must not must must not be less than 100 percent must be less than 100 percent saturation the free carbon dioxide must be less than 20 parts per million the ph that is the level of acidity or alkalinity of the water will be between seven and nine total dissolved solids alkalinity ammonia chlorine all these have, have stated and required levels which they should be maintained to ensure optimum production at the end of this lesson we have been able to differentiate between fish farming and aquaculture we also established the importance of aquaculture in fish production the types of aquaculture systems and their characteristics were discussed finally learned about aquaculture management practices here are some vocabulary which i believe you'd um, find them interesting at the end of this lesson this is also a picture showing the culture of fish come poultry and so on assessments as we have said earlier there will be a test at the end of this lecture you can visit the website and click on the link to take your test at your convenience as for the project you are required to survey the aquaculture practices adopted in lagos and write a report on it this is due for submission next week till next class i'm thanking you for listening to today's lecture i believe you have found it enjoyable which i have no doubt stay blessed and thank you bye for now <laughs>